Hey, welcome back. I am your host, and today I will be discussing the recent release of the Mortal Kombat 2021 movie. Um, just to let you know, there are spoilers ahead, so if you're not interested in knowing that, do not watch this video. But I also want you to like and feel free to like and subscribe to my channel as I enjoy doing these videos and I enjoy discussing things that you like, hopefully. Now on to the category. As I stated, this movie came out just yesterday, actually. I mean, actually, at 2 o'clock this morning, uh, Central Time, which happens to be the time I'm on, and I happened to catch it. The cast... Um, I'm going to list the characters rather than the actors because a lot of the actors and actresses I didn't recognize. For this, the cast ranged from the video game franchise from less known characters to more known characters. Two of the biggest known, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. It also had Raiden. And then it went... To the lesser known, such as Natara, Reiko, or Rico, depending on who you ask or how to pronounce it. And then you had your most known. Well, most would say it's Sub Zero, Scorpion, and Raiden, but also Jack, Sonya, Kano. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, stuff like that. Reptile, Molina. The plot, it's very simple. It's Mortal Kombat. Everybody knows this storyline. But it's based off of the first... But it's based off the original ideas where Earthrealm's under attack for the tournament. And they're trying to win the 10th tournament. In order to invade. Rather than actually being something. Sorry. Tried to tie my hair up and it didn't work. Long. Doesn't work at all the time. On to the good things about this. It had a good run time of about two hours. And you can find it on HBO Max. As well as in theaters. And... It's got a great opening fight scene of Sub-Zero and Scorpion during the old days when they were Bihan, when it was the original Sub-Zero, Bihan, and Scorpion as Hanzo Hisashi in their human forms. During the film, there's references to others and to other characters in the Mortal Kombat franchise, such as Nightwolf, and I'm pretty sure there's a picture that they show of Kotal Khan in a book. The original Kung Lao. There's even a picture of a Dania with the king. And from the reboot, Mortal Kombat, or what was known to some as MK9. That's at least what I call it. Where it's got the prophecy woman. And the King of Edenia. It's got them together. And then it's also got Goro beating Kung Lao and Shao Kahn in the reboot style outfit rather than his original outfit. I mean, his original trilogy outfit. The Kano Sonya hatred in this movie is very nicely done with its acting between the actor and actress in it. It's you can tell that they don't like each other. You can tell that I mean, but at the same time, there's a sense of humor to it that the chemistry is just there really well. In my view, Raiden in this one was a little more humorous and did. A little more of the godlike actions that Raiden was supposed to take, in which he's not supposed to be involved in the tournament. 
as they're only there to watch and make sure that they don't cross the lines. There are multiple fatalities shown from the move from the franchise, including Kano's from the very first game, known as the Heart Throne, known as the Heart Pool, or Heart Throb, or Heart Acre, whatever you want to call it, where he actually reached in, pulled the heart out, and like I said, it's multiple others. It's that was just one example. Also, when it came to the style of fighting, it focused more on the new style that kids today and video game players would be more knowledgeable of rather than the old style where it looked more wire fighting and traditional Chinese tradition I mean, the Chinese traditional fighting that you would see in movies. Now, the bad news to this, they changed the Sub-Zero Scorpion history, such as Quan Chi being the killer of Sub-Zero's family, not Sub-Zero. That part was changed in the movie for some reason, and I don't know why, because it was a stupid thing to change. Because Scorpion's history was entirely based on that moment. But instead, they had Sub-Zero truly be the guy who did it. Also, with Kano, um, though he does have his laser eye. He's missing the trademark metal around it that made it so famous or so well remembered. Also, though we got Molina, there's no Katana and no Katana Molina fight, which to me would have made the movie a little better because that fight was always a good one to watch with people who knew the character, who knew how to use the characters. Even in the series that they made of Mortal Kombat back in the day, Katana and Melina fought. It was a great fight. Um, Natara, the vampire from. The 3D games makes an appearance in this. And so does Rico or Rako. I'm still not sure which way to pronounce it because they pronounce it, I'm pretty sure, Rico in the movie. But in other places, it was pronounced Rako or Rico. But I'm going with the way the movie did it, which is Rico. And I said, the 3D games got, if they didn't have the characters shown, there were characters mentioned. Even Bo Rai Cho got mentioned in this movie, though he wasn't in it. But Natara and Rico both do theirs, but their fights, I mean, but Natara's fight really wasn't as good as they could have made it. Also, the theme that everybody knows for Mortal Kombat being is barely touched upon in this movie. And Finally, I question overall whether it's as good as the original with Robin Show, Christopher Lambert, and Carrie, uh, 
Takura Yuki Tagawa, the I mean the Liu Kang, Raiden, and Shang Tsung in the original 1995 film. I go back and forth because there's a lot of this one where it was better and a lot of the original where it was better in areas. So I think it's that's where it can get interesting. Overall, though, I would say this film is worth it, and I do recommend going to the theaters or going on HBO Max and watching it while it's available. I give it a B plus overall, and I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, give me a recommendation. I'll try and find it to watch or even listen to and give you my thoughts on it. Until next time, later.